Hot Springs Village Inside Out is a closer look at the greatness of Hot Springs Village, Arkansas and the surrounding areas, people, places, experiences. Hot Springs Village is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Join me, Randy Cantrell, and my co-host Dennis Simpson as we engage in weekly conversations to explore Hot Springs Village Inside Out. Today's show is brought to you by Central Arkansas's favorite radio station, KVRE. Find them on the dial at 92.9 FM. Stream them live at kvre.com. Remax of Hot Springs Village. The award-winning Remax of Hot Springs Village is the largest real estate office inside the village with over 30 full-time agents and support staff. Visit them to learn more about this beautiful place to solve your real estate needs. Call them today at 1-800-364-9007. Find them online at explorehsv.com. They are Remax of Hot Springs Village at 1-800-364-9007 or online at explorehsv.com. Ike Eisenhower State Farm. Ike and his award-winning team have been serving the insurance needs of folks all around Hot Springs Village since 1998. Ike has qualified for State Farm's President's Club, Chairman's Circle, and Hot Springs Village Insurance Agent of the Year. Call Ike Eisenhower State Farm today at 501-984-4100. That's 501-984-4100. Find them online at IkeEisenhower.net. Call them today for all your insurance needs because, like a good neighbor, Ike Eisenhower State Farm is there. Here with Miss Clara Nicolosi. Clara, how are you today? Hey, I'm doing great, Dennis. I'm so thankful that we are out of the house and that the weather's trying to warm up and that liquid sunshine's coming down from the sky. I'm curious, we had the snowpocalypse, but now we're going to have the springopalypse, I hope? We're going to have something like that? Well, you know, this is Arkansas. I'll give it about 12 hours and the weather will change. So I'm happy about that. Speaking of weather and speaking of spring, come March the 26th, where are we all going to be, Miss Clara? We are all going to be at the Community Foundation's fundraiser. It is going to be a matinee and an evening concert with a pre-concert dinner in there. So everyone needs to put March 26th on their calendar for right here at the Woodlands. Can we go to HS ticket ticket sales and buy those tickets now? Yeah, absolutely. HSVTicketSales.com. And let's talk about the two concerts. The matinee is going to be a 3 p.m. matinee, and it's going to be along the flavor of American Bandstand. And it's going to be a boogie type. Uh, event. And this is all being put on by the Diamonds, who has been here before, and they are fantastic. They're going to feature four decades of of really, really good music. I mean, you won't want to miss it. And then the good news is you can stay for the pre-concert dinner. Melinda's is putting that on for us at 530. Got to get tickets in advance, though. They will It will sell out. We're going to do the potato bar again with the chili and the salad and and the soup's going to be a wonderful dinner and we're going to turn around the diamonds are going to do an evening concert for us and this is going to be a almost a broadway showcase with the jersey boys and and saturday night fever and different type of broadway tunes uh, for that evening 7 30 concert it's going to be a fun day get your tickets let me get let me get this straight. Now, do I need, you say tickets. Do I need three different tickets? I'll need one for the matinee, one for dinner, and one for the evening show? You will need all three okay. of those. Absolutely. Okay. If you'd like to participate in those. But you could literally get there about 2.30 and stay probably till about 9.30 that evening. You could have a whole evening of entertainment right there at the Woodlands. See, this is what happens when I go and visit people and I linger too long. They're like, Dennis, don't you need to leave now? It's nine o'clock. Don't you need to go? And I'm like, no, no, no. There's another concert. I'm good. Don't worry. And Melinda's is fabulous food. And we've had the potato bar. Why, why would I need to leave? Right? No, you don't you don't have any reason to leave. And, you know, the beauty of this concert is it really is part of a fundraiser. We have an opportunity from the Arkansas Community Foundation in Little Rock has issued us a $40,000 match for our operating endowment. 40,000. So 
So we are working hard to raise 40,000 more to match that 40,000 to grow our operating endowment. Excited to do this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, let's back up. You know, five mile high view. You know how I do it. So <clears throat> that's the Arkansas Community Foundation that is offering us matching funds. But we are, and I'm going to scroll up just a second, the Arkansas, the Hot Springs Village Community Foundation. What is that and how many of them are there and all that kind of stuff? Well, good question, Dennis. The, the Hot Springs Village Community Foundation joined the ARC or the Arkansas Community Foundation back in 2017. Now, we had been in business here since since 83, but we aligned with the state level community foundation. And there's about 29 affiliates under the, the, the Little Rock office. And we are we we continue to grow right here in Hot Springs Village. We, we are holders of 50 local endowments. And we that that are valued five at about two five zero that are valued I'm sorry, at about I, two. And I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just didn't. I had no, no idea. Yeah, fit, we're holding fifty endowments, and uh, they're valued at, at over two point five million dollars. And the proceeds from those endowments allow us to give money during our giving tree period, which is in the summer and fall. We gave out over eighty-five thousand dollars last year as as a result of those endowments that we're holding. And just for a tr little translation here, in my simple mind, the Arkansas Community Foundation is actually kind of like a management service that helps us manage our foundation funds. Is that correct? Yes, they're actually the holder of all of it, and they're they're the overseers. They are our guiding light. They've got the accountants and the tech people and those to to help us with this. With, with running our organization. And then we locally have our uh, administrative executor, executive here, Jane Browning, who works directly with the Little Rock office to help keep us online or in in going the right direction. And, and every time we talk about the Community Foundation, which our success is fantastic, and I think this is awesome, to have a $40,000 matching, and, and we're taking funds from the casino night that we had that was a great success, right? Yeah, oh, what a fantastic casino night. If you if you weren't able to join us, you missed it. We between the live auction, the silent auction, the the different uh sales we were able to have with table sponsors and and such, we raised over $15,000 just at our casino night. So, we're working wow. to keep growing that number. And and those funds along with this this uh, concert, two concerts and dinner, we're hoping to raise that forty thousand to match, so that we get forty thousand more from them. Correct. Correct. Forty thousand more to grow our operating endowment, and that's the endowment that helps us operate our fund, our our operations right here locally. Yeah, and and I want uh, just one more point on the foundation because it's so important. It's you know we did a great show with Bob Shoemaker, and my you my dear have a great example here too. You think about you know two point four million dollars and fifty endowments and all these possible funds and all these possible things. It sounds like rich people giving big money, and it's not. It's as simple as Bob having an education foundation or an education trust for children of the POA, right? C can you tell a little bit more about that? I mean, you could make your own trust, right? Absolutely. That's, that is the beauty of it. Anyone could start their own endowment. And I'll give a few examples, like the Animal Welfare League has their own endowment where they're growing by, by having this money invested, they're guaranteed to get a return each year, and they can make decisions as to how they want to use those funds. No different than the Village Walk for Cancer Research has an endowment growing it every year with the intent of it, all proceeds being able to go to operate the Village Walk for Cancer Research and to go for cancer research, which is the whole goal of the walk, the 100% goal. So there are so many opportunities where the um, the Shoemaker Scholarship, the um, Bob and Norma Shoemaker Scholarship was designed to help POA employee family members go to college and what a big heart that they have. Matter of fact, we were able to send two folks to college last year with scholarships. And uh, that matter of fact, that period's getting ready to open. I think it opens February 1st for applications. So if there's any POA employee, family members or children, get those applications in. 
I'm going to I'm going to do a shout out real quick to Hot Springs Village Inside Out real quick. And that is if you're seriously interested in this, I encourage you to look for Bob Shoemaker. Go to Hot Springs Village Inside Out. Take a look at the Hot Springs Village Inside Out search button and look for Bob Shoemaker. That is a moving story <clears throat> about his wife, his late wife. And, and how, how her family did not believe that it was proper for women to get a college education. And to that end, after her passing, he makes this foundation just for POA employees, children. Incredible heart. Incredible heart. I love that. And, you know, Bob is now married to Connie and Connie has the same heart. She has the same yeah. giving heart and, and backs this scholarship 100%. So I, I, I always call it the shoemaker because I think anyone that's got the shoemaker name on it, that I think they have been so giving and so generous mm -hmm. to make this available. And a lot of people might say, well, you know, he, he, he made a lot of money in the corporate world. No, he worked for the boy scouts. <laughs> Go see the show people. Yeah. It, it's just a normal, ordinary guy that said, this is a need and I want to address it. And, and I, I'm going to tie this back in. I promise with things like, the concert where we can literally double our money. You buy this ticket, you might as well be given. Uh, how much are the tickets? How much is the matinee, Clara? Matinee is going to be thirty dollars. The evening concert is thirty-five, and the pre-concert dinner seventeen dollars and fifty cents. So, if I buy a thirty-dollar matinee ticket, I might as well have given sixty dollars to the community foundation. Is that fair? Right. We're gonna. We will end up with that back. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I don't think I can say it more importantly. It, it's very, very important that we do this. And it's a great time. You say these guys have been here before. I, I don't recall. How long has it been? Do you know? I think it's either been four or five years. And it was a, it was a sold out concert. And they did an amazing job. And we, and back then we said, we want you to come back. And, and now's the time. It, the end of March is going to be the perfect time for them to come back and be very generous to us and give us both a matinee and that evening concert. Plenty to do that yeah. evening. And that is, so it, it's it's American Bandstand type boogie at three o'clock. Then the dinner is at what time? 5.30. 5.30, a, a blue plate special time in, in, in the village, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then, and then below that, we're going to have the the Rock and Broadway show at seven thirty. Man, what a day of fun this sounds like! I mean, really, it 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 will be a fun day with great music. And you know, that's one of my favorite things is to go listen to folks that are making good music. And this is a a, a perfect opportunity to do that. And I was going to say you could pack a lunch, but thanks to Melinda and and, and Alan and and, and uh, <laughs> Alana. And Daniel, you don't have to pack a lunch. You can just have one of their des delicious dinners. Absolutely. And a shout out also to Ike at State Farm. He is actually the concert sponsor to help us bring the uh, the this group in. Thank you. Thank you, Ike, and all your folks down there at State Farm for making this possible. So now get online, people, hsvticketsales.com, hsvticketsales.com, matinees 30, the dinner is 17, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And then the evening show is 1750. Don't cheap yeah. us on those seven those 50 cents, people. <laughs> and then the evening show is $35. Is that right, Clara? Correct. Clara, if anybody hasn't told you today, thank you for all you do for the village. Sincerely, really. Well, you know what? It it, it is my home. And if we're not giving back, then then we're not part of the community. And that's that's my whole heart. You know, I've actually thought many times about doing a uh, a show about how to be a good citizen. And I mean that. And, and part of my deal for a good citizen is you're well informed. You you don't go on social media and ask really silly questions that you could have asked your neighbors or called the POA and ask. And you don't moan and complain because for one week you didn't get your trash picked up. Come on, people. Act like grownups here, right? Well, I can understand, you know, unfortunately, you know, some people collect more trash than others and, and, and sure. are used to the routine and schedule. I can't say anything about that, but we, we are very blessed with a community full of givers. I, I could sit and name 25 people's names who are constantly, constantly giving and doing and, and just making things happen in our community. And we're grateful to have that. And we're grateful to have you and Randy with HSB Inside Out. A shout out to you guys. You're very gracious. We appreciate working with you. You're our favorite, one of our favorite two sponsors. Let me see. There's you and Ike. Okay, yeah, that's our favorite. Yeah, that's them. That's them. 
for Hot Springs Village Inside Out. And Clara, we will see you next time. See ya. Thanks, here. Thanks for watching and listening to Hot Springs Village Inside Out, a weekly podcast starring Hot Springs Village, Arkansas. Visit the website at hotspringsvillageinsideout.com.